we're going to give you give you an overview of the user manager in Joomla 3.0 and try to show you how to restrict access to certain areas of your site for specific users. So what we're going to do is create a menu item and we're going to create an access level and a user group and a user that has access only to this menu item here. We're going to start in the back end and let's create a brand new article first. Let's get some content in here. I'm going to click on the new button and create a new article. We'll just call it private information. And I'm going to put it in a general articles category here. We'll paste in some text and save and close. So now that we've got the private information that we only want some users to see, let's go back to the front end of the site and let's register that user. So you can do this through the front end or the back end, of course. Let's go ahead and create an account. I'm going to create, I think I'm logged in actually. Let's log out. We were logged in as a user. We're going to create a new user using the Core Joomla registration form here. Let's add a user as Jen with a username and a password. We'll confirm the password and enter an email in for Jen. Of course, not a real email, but we will register for the account. And we're going to receive this yellow message here in just a moment, letting us know that the user has to activate their own account via email. So that's the, what this message says. Uh, if we go to our back end, we're going to go to our user manager first. And we're going to notice Jen is listed. Jen is already in our back end of the site. Let's pretend Jen has checked her email, activated her own account. We will enable and activate Jen as a user. And if you open up Jen as a user, you can change those account details here or assign Jen to different user groups. Okay? By default, once they register, they're in the registered group. And you should know that child groups inherit the permissions from their parents. So the bloggers group, for instance, which we created, inherits permissions from publishers, which is inheriting permissions from the editor group, and so on. Okay? Let's save and close this. You can always create your own user groups. Come to the user group tab here and click on the new button to create a new group. Let's call this one private information. And I'm going to make this a child group of the registered group. Okay, so let's save and close. So here is our private information group. That's a child of the registered group. Uh, so it's inheriting permissions. Now what we're going to want to do is go to our access levels. And um, actually, well, okay, so inside your core Joomla access levels that come with your site, let's go to registered, for instance. Notice how that there are different, there are different user groups who have access to this access level. So we could put the private information group into the registered group, but they already actually are, by default, inheriting the permissions from the registered group here. Well, I'm going to save and close this. And I'm going to click on the new button to create a new access level and we'll call it the private information access level. And then we're going to scroll down here and put our private information group in uh, to have this access. And so we'll save and close. And then finally we'll go back to our users and we'll open up Jen as the user. We'll go to her assigned user groups and we'll make sure she's assigned to the private information group. And we'll select save and close. Lastly, we need to create that menu item to go on the front page of our site for this group only. So I'm going to put this on our main menu, add a new menu item, select the menu item type, it would just be a single article. Let's select that article here, private information, we'll call this private. And really important over here, we select our access level we created. Not public access, but private information. 
And so Jen is the only one in that group, and so she's the only one that's going to have access to this besides the super user. So let's save and close. Let's return to the front end and refresh. And go back to our home page here. Notice that uh, that menu item doesn't show up. That's because we need to log in as Jen, and then it will appear. Um, let's go ahead to access your account. We'll log in as Jen with the password, and our private menu item appears. We get that private information. Now, you can also do this within modules, set the modules. You can put the access level at the category level, the article level, the module, and the menu, uh, and the menu item level, too. So I hope that helps, Pam. It's a really good question. We just created a video for it. Jen, do you want to add anything? Uh, well, just a couple things to note. When uh, people sign up on the front end of the site, they're automatically put into that registered group by default. So in order to get them into that private group, you're going to have to do that from your admin side. You can't, they can't be added into the private group on registration. Is that correct? I mean, that's... Yeah, I don't think... Actually, by, we could, you know, when you create that registration form, so if we went to our user manager and we did our create an account on a registration form, I think by... Can pick which one? Yeah, you can pick which group they go into. Um, that might be in the user manager, though, too. So, yeah, I don't see it here. No. I'm going to close, actually. I think in our user manager, we have the option. Um, if we come to the options button here, we can pick, yeah, so new user registration group. Right. Right, Jen's But that's on the front end. So you pick a different group. Right. By default, anyone who registers on your site will go into that, that group. And then if you want to assign them to additional groups, you have to do it in your admin. Right, right. Right? Yep. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Just a, a quick side note, and then yep. the other thing too, if you assign, uh, if you assign the private to a category, any of the articles in that category, I think take on the take that on. So if you create articles that are public but they're in a category that's marked as private or mm -hmm. registered, then you still won't be able to see those articles. Correct. Correct. Yep, and then also if you're in your article manager, creating an article, for instance, you can come to article permissions here and further play around with the um, different groups you've, you've created and whether or not they have different permissions for specific articles. So yeah. it is a complicated system. There are a lot of resources out there for you, Pam. Hopefully we helped you a little bit, and uh, good luck developing it.